Hello and welcome to Chronicles of the Curious, where we delve into some of the most intriguing and mind-blowing mysteries of physics. Today we are going to talk about photons, the particles of light, and whether they experience time or not. You probably know that light travels at a constant speed of about 300,000 kilometers per second in a vacuum. Nothing can go faster than light, according to Einstein's special theory of relativity. But what does that mean for the photons themselves? Do they have a sense of time? Do they age? Do they see the universe as we do? The answer is no. Photons do not experience time at all. Are you worried they might get bored? Just think about that idea. From the perspective of a photon, there is no such thing as time. It's emitted and might exist for hundreds of trillions of years, but for the photon, there's zero time elapsed between when it's emitted and when it's absorbed again. It doesn't experience distance either. How is that possible? Well, it has to do with how time and space are relative to the observer. According to special relativity, the faster you move, the slower time passes for you compared to someone who is stationary or moving slower. This is called time dilation. For example, if you were on a spaceship traveling at 99% of the speed of light, one year for you would be equivalent to about seven years for someone on Earth. But what if you were traveling at exactly the speed of light? Then time would stop completely for you. You would not age at all. You would not see anything change around you. You would be frozen in an eternal present. This is what happens to photons. They are always traveling at the speed of light, so they never experience any time passing. They are essentially immortal, unless they encounter something that absorbs or scatters them. But wait, there's more! Not only do photons not experience time, they also do not experience space in the same way as we do. According to special relativity, the faster you move, the shorter your length becomes in the direction of your motion. This is called length contraction. For example, if you were on a spaceship traveling at 99% of the speed of light, your length would be reduced by a factor of about 7 compared to someone on Earth. But what if you were traveling at exactly the speed of light? Then your length would shrink to zero in the direction of your motion. You would become a point-like object with no dimensions at all. This is what happens to photons. They are always traveling at the speed of light, so they have no length in the direction of their motion. They are essentially dimensionless, unless they interact with something that changes their wavelength or frequency. So, photons do not experience time or space as we do. They are like eternal and infinitesimal messengers that carry energy and information across the universe. They are unaffected by the expansion or contraction of space-time, which causes their wavelength to change as they travel through different regions of gravity or velocity. But how do we know all this? How can we test these predictions of special relativity? Well, one way is to use atomic clocks, which are extremely precise devices that measure time based on the vibrations of atoms. If we put two atomic clocks in different locations or situations, such as on Earth and on a satellite orbiting Earth, we can compare their readings and see how much they differ due to time dilation and length contraction. Another way is to use telescopes and detectors that observe photons from distant sources, such as stars, galaxies, or cosmic microwave background radiation. By analyzing their wavelengths and frequencies, we can infer how much they have been stretched or shifted by the effects of gravity and velocity along their journey. These experiments have confirmed that special relativity is correct and that photons indeed do not experience time or space as we do. So next time you look at a starry night sky, remember that those photons have traveled for millions or billions of years without aging or changing at all until they reach your eyes and give you a glimpse of the past. Thank you for watching this episode of Chronicles of the Curious. If you enjoyed it, please like, share and subscribe for more videos like this one. And don't forget to leave your comments and questions below. See you next time.